That's an interesting question. It's, I'm more a person that believes you need to be looking for what is the next disruptor in your industry. Um, because you're either going to be a disruptor or you're going to be disrupted. Um, and the examples that I, the example, the single example that I refer to, or the two examples that I refer to quite often, are um, if you look at Kodak, now, those of us who are my age remember Kodak very well because they introduced this thing called a Polaroid, which many, many decades ago, you could take a photo and it would, instead of having to send the film to the chemist shop to have it produced and produced into pictures, photos, um, you could print the photo instantaneously out of the camera. Now you, I ask you today, where's Kodak? What do you know Kodak as? I don't know whether they make cameras anymore. I don't know whether they produce film anymore. I don't know whether they're in the cine. I don't know the name Kodak anywhere in the world anymore. The second one is Nokia. And I've got to be very careful here because I have a lot of good friends at Nokia. Um, Nokia was the world's leading telephone mobile telephone manufacturer, global leader telephone, mobile telephones. Today, they've been acquired and now they're no longer the leader in that market. Those, those are two examples of companies that were disruptors being disrupted. And so I like to think the way we look at disruption in Nextra is we observe what is going on in the world, we take inputs from global research agencies, um, we, we think ourselves internally about what we think the next uh, disruption is going to be, in which industry, how is it going to materialise, how is it going to eventuate, and then we try and work with or uh, as a part of the disruption in order to, in order to ensure sustainability and survivability.